Welcome to episode 3 of EasyBot's RTFM Audible Manuals. Today's episode is Polaris by IntelliGel. Overview The IntelliGel Polaris is a four-stage cascaded OTA filter designed by David Dixon. It builds on the lineage of the Dr. Octature and Atlantis filters, but with a totally revised core and resonance control. Along with dedicated low-pass, high-pass, and band-pass outputs, it features a configurable multi-output capable of an unprecedented 27 different filter modes. With drive turned down, the Polaris is capable of buttery smooth filtering, and the cutoff control range has been fine-tuned for playability. With the drive dialed up and the new asymmetric multi-distortion circuit engaged, it creates a more aggressive sound. Not content to be just a filter, the Polaris's all-pass phaser mode combined with frequency modulation can be used to achieve a phaser effect. With so much versatility and a modest size, the Polaris is an ideal filter for a starter system and an excellent addition to the tonal palette of a larger modular. Features Dedicated low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass outputs. Multi-output with 27 selectable filter types, 4 low-pass, 5 band-pass, 4 high-pass, 5 notch, and 4 all-pass, and 4 phaser. All-pass mode with inverted dry blend. Input drive control with soft clipping distortion. Multi-output asymmetric distortion. Front panel. Controls. 1. Mode This button cycles between the different filter modes of the multi-output. The LEDs below the button indicate the currently selected mode. The modes are low-pass, band-pass, high-pass, notch, and all-pass. After all-pass, there is a sixth phaser setting, which activates a special phaser effect that is a blend of the all-pass signal and the original input. 2. Type This button is used to cycle between filter types for the currently selected mode. Each filter mode has up to five variations with different numbers of poles. This button cycles between them. See the multi-mode section of the manual for more details. 3. Cutoff Sets the cutoff frequency of the filter. The knob position is combined with the FM1 and FM2 inputs. 4. Input Drive Sets the drive or amplification of the input signal. Unity gain is at the 12 o'clock position. At higher settings, signal will begin to experience a clip distortion. 5. Q Q sets the resonance of the filter. The knob position is combined with the Q input. 6. Q Attenuator Attenuator for the QCV input. 7. Multi-distort. When in the up position, engages the distortion circuit on the multi-output. 8. FM1. Controls the amount of attenuation of the FM1 input. The input tracks 1 volt per octave when this knob is fully clockwise. 9. FM2. Controls the amount and polarity of the FM2 input. The input passes unmodified when the knob is fully clockwise, inverted when fully counterclockwise, and has no effect when at the 12 o'clock position. Inputs and outputs. A. In. Audio input to the filter. B. Q. CV input for the Q control. The CV amount is attenuated by the black attenuator connected to the Q knob. C. FM1. CV input for the cutoff frequency. Attenuation is controlled by the FM1 knob. D. FM2. CV input for the cutoff frequency. Attenuation is controlled by the FM2 knob. E. LP. 4 pole, 24 dB per octave low pass filter output f bp 2 pole 12 db per octave band pass filter output g 
HP, 4 pole, 24 dB per octave, high pass filter output. H, multi, configurable filter output configured by the mode and type buttons and processed through the distortion circuit if it is enabled. Multi modes. The mode and type buttons are used to select the filtered signal available at the multi output. Pressing either button cycles through the respective options and the current selection is indicated by the illuminated LEDs. For the labels in between two LEDs, such as modes BP and N, the two LEDs surrounding the label will both be lit to indicate that it is active. Not every mode has five types of filters, so some of the types may not be used. The module remembers the last selected type for each mode as well as the last selected mode when it powered down. The types for each mode are arranged such that the filter slope increases with each filter type. For example, LP mode A is a one pole low pass, B is a two pole, etc. Mode LP type A, one pole 6 dB per octave low pass. Mode LP Type B, 2 pole, 12 dB per octave low pass. Mode LP, type C, 3 pole, 18 dB per octave low pass. Mode LP, type D, 4 pole, 24 dB per octave low pass. Mode BP, type A, 1 pole, 6 dB per octave band pass. Mode BP type B, 2 pole, 12 dB per octave band pass. Mode BP type C, 3 pole, 18 dB per octave band pass. Mode BP type D, 4 pole, 24 dB per octave band pass. Mode HP type A, 1 pole, 6 dB per octave high pass. Mode HP type B, 2 pole, 12 dB per octave high pass. Mode HP type C, 3 pole, 18 dB per octave high pass. Mode HP type D, 4 pole, 24 dB per octave high pass. Mode AP Type A, B, C, D. All pass varying phase responses. Trimmers. The side of the Polaris PCB has a resonance balance trimmer that can be used to set the balance of the self resonating feedback of the filter with the input signal. This trimmer can be adjusted to change the sound of the filter when in self resonance. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to set the balance to taste. The position of a trimmer is highlighted in the photograph below. Special thanks to IntelliGel for giving permission to make these videos. Please like and subscribe, and if you want to personally support EasyBot, visit www.patreon.com/easybot.